Hello there, only one Kenobi here. Only one. And I finally get round to reviewing 253, which is the heavy assault stormtrooper, which I have quite a few of these because Star Action Figures had a, a sale. I don't know if it's still on or not. Probably not now. They would have sold out probably. I don't know. Check them out. Staractionfigures.co.uk. They were selling off a load of these and, and a few other figures. Real, really cheap. I'm talking five pounds a piece, man. I'm sure it was something crazy like that. So I got a few of these to army build. I'll take off the pauldron and I will take away this weapon. And then you should have a normal stormtrooper. But speaking of that weapon, it does look good, man. I've, I've just spent a bit of time getting it to uh, getting him to hold it like he seems to be holding it in the picture, you know, with the handle at the top there. And I've kind of got the other handle in his hand. I wasn't too sure it was working when I first sort of like had it on him it was almost like the two things were too close to each other and I couldn't get a wide stance if you know what I mean but I've got it now so I'm happy with that and speaking of wide stance his legs are wide enough um what I, what I mean is I think that I don't know am I thinking of the old Republic trooper he seemed to have kind of a more width should we say for the the two parts of the weapon that he holds are wider if that makes sense it was his arms are wider but they seem to be close together, but no, it looks still looks good. You know what I mean? I prefer. I'm trying to explain what I'm on about here. I would prefer him holding it. Or if the handle was there, it would look better. But it still looks cool. Um, I think I've got it the right way around. I was basing that on uh, how the picture looks here. You know, I've not done any of the research. I've just literally just opened it, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm really sorry here, but I might cop out and not bother putting the rest of the accessories on the other accessories. You get, as you'll see in the, I'll show you the bubble in a minute, is this. Never been a fan of blaster effects accessories. I've only just started to warm to fire effects. Some figures look good, like the General Grievous from Revenge of the Sith with the flames <laughs> coming out of his eyes. I quite like that one. Sometimes I like lightning effects, but I'm, again, I don't really like them. I'd sooner a character holding a weapon which isn't firing, you know, because you'll never get the effect of fire. It's all right watching it in the movies when they can digitally put it on or whatever, you know, with special effects. But anyway, um, and then you get this, which just mm, it's supposed to be obviously a, a defense shield or whatever. I don't know. I've not seen the game. I'm, I'm a fish out of bloody water, ladies and gentlemen, talking about the Jedi Fallen Order. I must watch the cut scenes. I think I've watched the first 10 minutes and I know nothing else. But um, still, I appreciate a good stormtrooper. And this guy's great. And as I say, a few of us got him several times over i think i got about eight <laughs> which i'm going to open all of them and i will remove the pauldron and the weapon i'll talk about the weapon in a minute the weapon is amazing i could use the pauldrons elsewhere but i think pauldrons are for rank aren't they i know in, in star wars a new hope they all the sand troopers all seem to be wearing pauldrons so i thought they had a use maybe they, they are used for certain weapons you can put them over your shoulder maybe i just don't know Especially a heavy, heavy one like that. I don't know. Like the flame trooper in the Mandalorian. You know what I mean? He kind of holds it over his shoulder. And if you had a kind of a pauldron, I know it's supposed to signify rank, isn't it? Or has it got some of the military use? Um, I suppose it would be good for that. But um, usually pauldrons, well, you see them in the sequel trilogy. You see a whole squad and then one of them has a pauldron. But as for normal stormtroopers wearing them, apart from sand troopers, you don't really see them. Although somebody did comment once saying that one of the stormtroopers in Rogue One had a pauldron, but man, that must have been blinking, blinking, you'll miss it. But anyway, let's just enjoy this figure as it is. But I'm just letting you know the future for me will be for army building to open a load of these. And the reason they were reduced um, is the fact that some of them had, you can barely notice it, man, a little bit of damage. Such a great deal that he had on. That's got a tiny ding in it. And the one I'm keeping carded is already in a star case and is on one of my walls outside this room actually would you believe it ladies and gentlemen this room is so bloody full that i've actually <sighs> i've got four walls in here ladies and gentlemen four walls are full and um i'm now outside this room it's crazy so yes i have officially run out of space but uh and i'm not taking over the ceiling yet although people keep saying to do that suck the light out of the room but um what's my point there Lost me point. Yeah, so I've got a mint version outside the room. So, but this is the one I'm. I'm going to open this one in the fullness of time as well. And I have another one. Just bear with me. Let me show you this other one. This also has the superficial, superficial damage. 
to the card. Can you see that pressing there? I mean, God damn it, man. I mean, I have got a few figures from the first vintage collection, VC 1.0, which I got around 2015 before they went bananas on the secondary market. I'll tell you who I have now. I've got him unpunched. I mean, some people will murder to have him unpunched for under 100. You know, he goes for a lot of money. I'm sure people have done that. But I got that for like, I don't know, £17 in 2015. And that was one of the more expensive ones then. But if you open him up, you'll see on him, Look at that. You can see it right there. Look at that damage there. I mean, I didn't even notice that when I when I bought that in 2015. I never thought about quality. I mean, obviously, I, w I would know if a, I wouldn't be happy with a crushed bubble and a massive vein crease down a car back. But things like that, I never even looked for, nor would be offended by if I saw it after buying it. All I cared about was my cards being unpunched. So that's what I bought. Anyway, so this guy looks pretty cool. Look at all the accessories you get with him. Big weapon, kind of reminds me of the uh, Power of the, F the Force Awakens line, actually. You know, you've got all those extra accessories with it. But uh, there he is. Looks nice in the bubble, doesn't it? Nice. It's not an orange card back there. That's just my mind playing tricks with me. It's that piece of plastic with a flame effect on it. Makes it look orange. There's the weapon. Nice card back there. Look at the flames there, actually. I never noticed that, really. The flames in the background and then the... The plants there, like it. I'd love to see what planet that is. Somebody will know in the comments. Let me know. Um, he's, look, the helmet looks slightly different than a normal Stormtrooper there. Looks sort of smoother. And then there he is there. Great figure. It's just that classic sculpt, isn't it? The VC-140, I believe. Doing the rounds, as it should do, man. Rinse it. You've nailed it. Rinse it dry. And what we need is a Sand Trooper. Speaking of which, if you want to see a really good customization of this, because as I say, there were loads of them going on Star Action Figures. Uh, Daniel Chart did some. So go and check out his channel. Also, Tim featured Daniel's figures on his channel. So I will leave a link to their videos in this in this video's description. So check below. Very nice. Um, really sorry. I can't be bothered putting on that shield. Just not interested. So you'll have to go away now and find someone else who's done it. But what I will do, actually, is uh, let's take off this pauldron. Put that helmet on. Then you've got a regular stormtrooper. Let's just get rid of this weapon as well. And uh, see what's going on. I've got loads of spare blasters as well. E11s or whatever you call those blasters. I'll find a spare blaster for him, but there you go. There's that there this is just an awesome weapon let me just show you this weapon look at the detail that they've done you see the weathering just around the snorkel like the ig11 ig88 snorkel whatever you call that there you go there's a bit more on that side wow and then it's kind of a brass or bronze effect can you see it that bit there it's just nice detail i mean it's a weapon i was gonna get rid of as i say when i army build this guy these are going to be doing nothing and maybe the some of the pauldrons will as well i don't want to keep the pauldrons on them as i say maybe i could put them on um i'll find somewhere for them but um it's all good for when you if you, if i get around to making some custom sand troopers i'll need them so i'll keep them aside for now but these are great maybe i could put them somewhere in on a diorama on a rack a load of them together would look pretty cool but they are a nasty looking weapon them aren't they reminds me of Spear of Destiny and Wolfenstein 3D, that bloody chain gun thing, you know what I mean? It's awesome, isn't it? God. Awesome weapon. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed that video, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a waffle and a little bit of a look at this figure, but overall, that's my plans for this in future. I do have him on the wall with my other... I have him on the wall with my other Jedi Fallen Order card backs, but overall, I'm just looking forward to getting some more Stormies on the shelf, man. With that good sculpt. Nice. Thank you for watching. Oh, has he got a... No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a, a holster. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm happy just having an articulated stormy man. I'll find a weapon for him. And that'll be awesome for my new hope and Empire and Jedi shelves. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.